Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up one of the class pages in your Weebly ePortfolio. I'm going to use my English 1010 class as an example. I can get to that page by hovering my mouse over coursework and going to English 1010, or I can go to the Pages menu here at the top and click on English 1010. And I'm going to put my assignment here. What we're going to put here is whatever your teacher asks you to put on here. I'm going to show you the basic layout for what will go on your ePortfolio, but it may differ from class to class. But this is just the basics. Your teacher is going to ask you to put a signature assignment on your English 1010 page. You may be asking, what is a signature assignment? A signature assignment is what you feel is the best work that you did in that class while you were in the class. So for example, my English 1010 class, I may look through my essays that I wrote and find one particular one that I felt really showcased what I learned in that class. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a title box and pull that down. And I'm going to click in that title box and write the name of my essay. I'm just going to write signature assignment for now but you're going to write the actual name of your assignment in that title box. I'm going to center it by clicking in this title box and hovering my mouse over this. It's next to the chain. It's the alignment tool. and allows us to align our text to center. The next thing I want to do, just to make it look nice, I'm going to grab a divider and put it under that. It separates it from the rest of the page. And the next thing I will grab is a text box and pull that down. What we're going to do, it may seem out of place, but it's correct. This is the right thing we're going to do. We are going to copy and paste our essay in this text box. There we go. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a relevant image to your Weebly ePortfolio. We want to make this interesting, showcase your work, so we're going to come up here to grab an image box, kind of like what we did on the welcome page, and we can put it inside the text box. Your text will text wrap automatically around the image, and we can include an image that is relevant to our signature assignment. So say, for example, my assignment was on civility. What I could do is click on the mountain and sun and upload an image that I had downloaded from the internet that was rights free that allows us to connect to what we've learned, a picture about civility or something that we want to, or something that we wrote about. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab this box right here. It's called file. This will allow us to upload the actual file of our assignment. This will make it possible for our teacher to download our essay if they want to download our essay from our ePortfolio. All you have to do is click here to upload your file and click on Upload File. We can upload either the Word document or PDF or PowerPoint presentation, whatever it may be. I would not add just the file to your ePortfolio. That creates what we call here at the lab a file dump, where people just drop their assignments on the ePortfolio and completely forget about it. But we want to showcase our work and make connections between our learning, or else our ePortfolio really doesn't matter. The next thing that we're going to do is, I like to grab another divider, separate it from the next section, grab a title box, pull it down, and we are going to write a reflection. We'll grab a text box and put it under our title box, and we are going to write our class reflection in this box. A reflection, if you're not familiar with that term, is your personal thoughts and feelings on the class, on what your takeaway from the class is how what you've learned in the class applies to your life and how it applied to the other classes that you've taken or your work. It's a reflection is really to think about what you learned and write about what you learned. And this is the basic layout for how you can put a signature assignment on your Weebly ePortfolio. 
If this isn't what your teachers asked you to put on here, maybe they want a PowerPoint or an Excel document or whatever it may be, a Prezi presentation, we have created other tutorials to help you put your assignments on your ePortfolio if you need to put something else on here other than an essay. Those tutorials can be found in the advanced tutorial section on the tutorials page for the Weebly Help site here, Weebly Help on the ePort resource site. They're right here under video tutorials and advanced tutorials and this will show you the many ways that you can upload assignments to your ePortfolio or fix some problems that you may be having with your ePortfolio. I hope this video has been helpful for you and I will see you all in the next video.